Coming up on Metro 5 this week, Nigerians say goodnight to two-time former chief of air staff, Air Marshal Nsikak Udwak, who was buried in his home state of Akwaibo. Also on the show, we take you to Enugu State to bring you the wedding between Kiran Chukuma Ezogu and Inkiruka Monica Ajogu, a member of staff of Channels Television. It's another week on the show and time to bring you up to speed on some of the social events you missed. Um, but trust me, Metrofile has got you covered as we captured it all for your viewing pleasure. So sit back and let's enjoy it. Now, while we do that, kindly watch out for sensitive images. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Ogechuku Osio Yelude. Now, we begin Metrofile this week in Akwaibom State, where we go pay respect to a fallen officer. That's a two-time former chief of air staff, Air Marshal Linsika Kudwok, who has been laid to rest during a three-day event in the state. Take a look. Death is indeed an inevitable end for every mortal. Sadly, no one knows when the time will come. Neither does anyone have the power to question or stop it. This sad reality has hit friends and family of former Chief of Air Staff, late Air Marshal Isakak Edward, whose passing has thrown them into mourning. He took his last breath on the 6th of January, a day never to be forgotten by his immediate family and the people of his home state of Akwaibom. For three days, prominent Nigerians from all walks of life converged on Akwaibom State to pay their respect to this eminent Nigerian who served as the nation's chief of air staff for two terms. The burial program began with a service of songs at his country home, Magigwe, in Ibesipu, a Sutan local government area of the state. His wife and children, as well as other members of the family, had the great opportunity of celebrating their father through music. The event also featured renditions by several choir groups. And that's not all. His immediate family render one of their father's favorite songs. were taken a notch higher as the atmosphere erupts in praise, all guests dancing to the traditional Ibibio song. <laughs> the 
the love Air Marshal Edward poured out into his community has never been in doubt, showed through the numerous humanitarian works he did. And so it's time for the community to reciprocate that love. And they came out in their numbers on the streets of Akwaibom State to bid him farewell. The funeral service took place at the Ibom Hall grounds in Uyo, conducted by officials of the United Evangelical Church. of God. This is the reason why you and I are living. At the occasion is the governor of the state, Mr. Udom Emmanuel, and the current chief of air staff, Air Marshal Ola Dayuamo. The next Air Marshal was a part of Deep Fire, an elder in the United Evangelical Church, also known as Foyle Church. He believed in the immutable power of prayer. As a deep believer, he knew instinctively that who God chooses, he qualifies. And when the right time came, God elevated him to the position of the chief of Esther. And Masha Insikeka Udo will surely be missed for his timely and professional contribution, not just to the Air Force and Aquaban State alone, but to the entire nation. The late Air Marshal Ed Rock, whose remains lie in this coffin, draped with the national flag, was until his death the chairman, board of trustees of the United Evangelical Church. Thousands of senior officers from all arms of the military turned up to honor their own. Air Marshal Edward was enrolled into the Nigerian Air Force as a potential pilot on the 1st of August 1968. This is about a year after the outbreak of the Civil War when men of less courage would fail to enroll. <laughs> Late Air Marshal Isikak Edward was Nigeria's 12th Chief of Air Staff. He was a humanitarian, a community man, a devout Christian and a family man. After all the singing and dancing, Late Air Marshal Edward began the journey to his final resting place. and the celebration of life continued at his country home. And then the gun salute followed 
to pay respect to a fellow officer. And he was a simple man, a Christian. He loved good. He stood for justice. Everything he did, he always wants to show example of what Christ did on earth. He taught me how to love God. He taught me how to be a giver to all kinds of people, even if they hurt you. Always have a space in your heart to forgive them. He, he just took the side of the righteous. He took the side of justice. My father was a very hard-working man, very, very passionate man to his family. My father was a loving man. Emma Shansika Edward was one of the finest uh, gentlemen that the Nigerian Armed Forces had ever produced. He was competent, he was uh, efficient, he was uh, patriotic in the discharge of his duty. The three day program was concluded with an outing service at the United Evangelical Church. Students of Air Marshal Edward's brainchild, Nigerian Air Force Comprehensive School, Uyo, also bid farewell to their mentor. A befitting end to what was largely described as a successful ceremony. May his soul rest in peace. Death indeed is inevitable. Our condolences to his family and may his soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen.